When some think of the Northeast, they think of this. Not me. On Backwoods Angler TV, we'll take you to the other side of the most densely populated area of the country. Got it that time. Backwoods is an attitude. Backwoods is a state of mind. Backwoods can be in the remote sections of Maine or under a New Jersey interstate. Backwoods is where we live. Backwoods is where we fish. Backwoods Angler TV, your freshwater fishing authority for the Northeast. Catch it all here. Brought to you by Ace Recreational Marine Insurance. Ensuring progress. Gorilla Glue. O'Keefe's Working Hands. The leading hand cream for people who work with their hands. And by Ultimate Fishing Maps. Searching for the best places to fish? We can take you there. Our day on Backwoods Angler TV starts off in New Hampshire, picking up our G3 boat from New England Marine Sales and Service, a dealer and repair center that provides the top of the line in recreational boats to New Hampshire and beyond. Today, Chris Gorsuch and I are putting into Winona Lake, near Squam Lake in Winnipesaukee. This small lake has been providing us with some big bass, both smallmouth and largemouth. With islands, sand flats, and deep rocky drop-offs, this 160-acre lake has everything an angler could want. It's a rainy overcast day, and we're the only ones out on the water. Perfect conditions for smallmouth fishing in the Northeast. First fish of the day. Good one, too. Off the deep rocky drop-offs. Oh, good solid bass, huh? Yep. Today I'm back with Zangler TV, Northern Shield Lake, pre-spawn smallmouth. We're going to throw a potpourri of things at them today, aren't yep. we? We're going to try to go top water. We got overcast, rain. Oh, it's awesome out here right now. We're in New Hampshire today, going after New Hampshire bronze. Don't go away. On an overcast, rainy day like today, I just have to fish a topwater. Bass have no eyelids, so when the light is low, they have more of a tendency to look up through the water column. While I usually prefer a popping topwater lure like a skitter pop, I'm starting today with a buzzbait. On rainy days, a buzzbait simply creates more of a disturbance in the water and can aggravate a reaction bite from a territorial smallmouth. I love when they hit them things. Little male. Got him, but look at where the trailer hook barely, barely got him. That's what they're doing. They're swiping at the buzz bait. That's the fourth one I've had come up on it, and I got that fish under the mouth. Got him right in the meat. Little male in there. That one's close to shore, huh? Yeah, that's the importance of a trailer hook right there. I missed three before I put it on. <laughs> got him. He came off too. Trailer hooks. I, I don't throw trailer hooks often because I, you know, it's just me. It's personal preference on spinner baits. Typically, a lot of times in the river, you don't need them. Clear water instances, sometimes I'll put one on. Buzz baits, much more times than than not, I'll throw one for that very reason because these fish are slapping at it. That fish just came one up to attack it. Probably in there getting ready to make a bed. And I got it angry. It was just trying to get it away. So, you know, smallmouth, male smallmouth, when they're spawning or getting ready to spawn, they get very territorial. They don't want anything anywhere near their nest. So they're going to want to get it out of there to kill it, keep it away from, from the fry or from the nest. Take a look at this footage of a male smallmouth guarding his bed. Watch closely as he attacks a nearby swimming turtle that got a little too close to his nest. This is why a buzzbait is an excellent choice in pre-spawn circumstances. She took off with that thing in a hurry. Jeez. You're just smally, huh? Respectable bass. She looks spawned out, don't she? 
an early spawner. She spawned out. A week ago, she'd have been three plus. <laughs> Backwoods Angler TV brought to you by Gamma, molecularly altered fishing line. Zico Shoes. Shimano. And by Dorsey Flashlights. Coming up on Backwoods Angler TV. I hope this doesn't turn into a crappy show now. That's just wrong. Salty Shad, baby. Now explain, explain. We love them. It's like you can come around a corner and go into one of these rocky flats right now, and it's like, oh. During the break, visit the shop at BackwoodsAnglerTV.com. We've got DVDs, books, lures, and more. <laughs> what is with this thing? Tips and techniques for fishing the Northeast or wherever you are. That is a quality bass, no matter how you slice it, no matter where you catch it. Eric J. Conrad, Mark B. Stanziola, and Prescavula Mamunez of Thomas Conrad & Conrad, a firm providing over 25 years of personal injury and family law practice. An unexpected injury can be an awful and painful experience, and medical bills can pile up. Let us help you get the money you deserve. There's no fee if there's no recovery. We also handle divorce, custody, support, and more. Plus, we have multiple offices throughout the Lehigh Valley and surrounding areas for your convenience. Call today. The Coopersburg Diner and Family Restaurant, conveniently located in the center of Coopersburg on Route 309 between Allentown and Quakertown. Come and enjoy great homemade entrees, delicious desserts, and friendly atmosphere. Now offering corporate and private catering for your family celebration, business banquet, or any special occasion. Open daily from 5.30 a.m. until 10 p.m. Come see why everyone loves the Coop. Hello, we are Our Incredible Foods. This is our seafood cake, which is a combination shrimp, crab, and scallop. Our cakes are made with domestic product, all made by hand. Uh, we have a seafood cake, again, shrimp, crab, and scallop, available through mail order. There are boxes of 32 cakes, handmade, and boxes of 12 cakes available. They are shipped to you through overnight mail and you do receive them in a reusable styrofoam container as well as with uh, dry ice that will um, make sure you receive them in good order. Once again, it's www.ourincrediblefoods.com. Thank you and enjoy. Nice fish. What's his secret? It's Wacky Worm where bass is king. Crankbaits, spinnerbaits, jerkbaits, and more. Check out our 70-foot wall of plastics. Over 800 rods and reels from the leading manufacturers. Plus our own handcrafted jigs and soft plastic lures. For tons of tackle and friendly service, Wacky Worm, the true secret in fishing. The rains are falling today on Backwoods Angler TV. Our overcast day in New Hampshire is becoming a steady shower. If this is your fishing trip, you're going to want to be out catching fish no matter the conditions. Today's sticking point discusses staying focused on fishing while you're on the water. You know, it's really important. When I get on my boat, I need to leave what's on the shore on the shore. It's really difficult for me to concentrate and focus on the task at hand, which is getting a little bass to eat my artificial lure. <laughs> Some days that's not real easy. It's really hard to focus on that if I'm thinking of things like what bills are due, what so-and-so's thinking about me, whether the show's going to be watched this week. Those things need to stay on the shore when I'm on the boat. And that's a real good thing to keep in mind when you're going out on your next fishing trip. Keep what's on the shore on the shore when you're on the boat. This sticking point brought to you by Gorilla Glue for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. We're on a rocky flat right here. 
It's like you can come around a corner and go into one of these rocky flats right now, and it's like, oh. I'm in here somewhere. Can't look this good and not be in here. Oh. That's a good fish, man. It is. Big small one. Big small one. Whew! If you can't have fun doing this, I don't know what else to say. Gotta have your head examined. If I'm throwing in weeds, in weeds I'm gonna wanna I'm gonna wanna Texas rig my, my salty shads. Good solid smallness. If you're fishing soft plastics on an overcast or rainy day, nothing beats a case sinking salty shad. This minnow style soft jerk bait has such a slow fall rate that it will entice even the stingiest of smallies. Small male. You're supposed to be a four pound largemouth, dude. What the heck were all these small males all day? Shad, baby. That's a spunky male there. Good old spunky male. Salty shad, baby. We love them. Hard to beat. Hard to beat on a cloudy day, rainy day on the rocks, boy. It is a go-to offering for sure. Look at these rocks. And she got it right in the corner of the mouth. You see how long I waited? Yep. Boy, oh boy, they're not hitting them hard. Solid fish. Nice solid fish. That was cool. I love when you can see them. I love watching the bait. Ah, uh, you talk about a visibility bait. This is it, isn't it? A lot of fun. You see that? That was off the that was off the point. That's a crappie. See the tail of the minnow? He's got a tail of a minnow in his mouth, he's still eight. He's got a pretty good sized minnow in his mouth. Five inch bait, no less. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a minnow in his mouth and he's eating a five inch bait. It's insane. Absolutely insane. They have no knowledge of what's right and wrong, I guess, do they? Because no. that's just wrong. It is wrong. Go on a diet. Goodness shakes. There's another one. Yeah, the weight is way, 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 almost uncomfortable too long. It, it's amazing. They're just not, they're not eating it hard. Like I said, That's a good one of the nice parts about it is, the nice thing if you have to wait, circle hook. You get a little bit extra money, but it really helps the fish. What a dandy she is too. It's a long Have fish. we found the lure that will guarantee a steady stream of smallies? Stick around to find out when Backwoods Angler TV returns in just a moment. Backwoods Angler TV presents Coldwater River Fishing Secrets. In this seminar series on DVD, Blaine and Chris cover all your questions. Where, when, and how to locate river smallmouth in the coldest weather. For this and other DVDs on bass fishing techniques for any situation, visit BackwoodsAnglerTV.com. Unforeseen accidents on the water can and will happen on occasion. If you do happen to suffer a boating accident, you'll want insurance that includes all coverages you'll need to get you back on the water quickly. Ace Recreational Marine Insurance provides all this plus added coverage for your fishing equipment, protection against uninsured boaters and theft, and even coverage for torment bass boats, all for a reasonable price. I'm Blaine Mangle, and this is why I have my boat insured with Ace. Ace Recreational Marine Insurance, insuring progress. Need a better battery? Get the one preferred by Autotex 5 to 1 over any other. Interstate batteries. 
outrageously dependable. When it comes to fishing, there's a fine line between failure and success. There's a fine line between winning and losing. There's a fine line between the trophy and just another fish story. That line is gamma. Gamma, molecularly altered fishing line. Behind that garage door lies a kingdom, a place where all that's wrong and broken can be fixed. Armed with Gorilla Glue, imagination, and some elbow grease, there's nothing that can't be built, created, or repaired. Your kingdom awaits. Gorilla, for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Visit GorillaGlue.com. Welcome back to Backwoods Angler TV. Today we're fishing in New Hampshire on Lake Winona. Chris Gorsuch and I are targeting smallmouth bass on rocky flats in this small lake. During the early spring pre-spawn period, smallies will be coming out of the winter and feeding up for the spawn. This is a great time of year because you can throw a number of different lures to catch bass and all the other species that are coming out of the winter and getting more active. For the freshwater fishermen, this means you never know what you'll pull in. Crappy. Crappy. A little crappy. I hope this doesn't turn into a crappy show now. Black crappie fishing in New England here on Back with <laughs> TV today. <laughs> That's cool. We catch them all. We sure do. Might just be a grass. Today we are targeting smallmouth at one of the toughest times of the year to catch them. <laughs> right when they're about ready to go and spawn. They're in a transition, they're moving. Some of them are moving, some of them are not moving. And the bottom line is there isn't a whole lot eating right now, so we have to get them to go. Pulling out every little stop. Yesterday we caught a few fairly ever... large perch. That's pretty cool. Um, and you can see them in the water when we go by shallow parts. You can see them skirting around. And uh, a lot of these northern shield lakes have perch and sunfish in them. This one has a lot of perch in it. And, uh, it's probably not primarily one of the bait fish that they're eating, especially right now. And so what I needed was something that had a little more orange on it. Just taking a Sharpie Mint pen, and I like the side of this better. They actually make this, but I don't have one in my box. So I figured rather than fight with it, I'll just add one. And all I want is a little bit of orange in the bottom of this thing. So when they come up on it and they see it flashing, they're going to see a little bit of orange. Change my feather colors a little bit. I'll keep black and yellow and orange in my box so I can add stripes to it if I need to or add marks to it. Just or saves you from having to run to the store during your trip. If they're biting a certain way or eating a certain bait. When you're looking at it, so they just get a little bit of a flash for the green and the orange. And uh, it's making a difference. And it's really making a difference. You have bottom of your jerk bait is white or clear oh, versus really cool. one that has orange on it. The orange one's winning out. The person with the orange is catching the fish in the exact same locations. You're throwing the other exact same bait, except for it doesn't have the orange bottom on it. Pickle, pickerel. That's what they're supposed to be too. I should know better than a cast over there. It is a big one and he's going to break me off because he's got that tube in his jaw. That is a big one. That tube right in his jaw. Yeah, I can't believe it's still there. Me either. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> it's a thick one. Should I retie, you think? Feel that. Can you see that? That's beautiful. Those things are just beautiful. I love them. It, it hurts my heart 
to know that I caught that fish out from under Blaine because he loves pickerel more than anybody. But this was caught on the inside of his jaw and this fluorocarbon, which is real nice, the fluorocarbon is very important because it's very abrasive resistance. It's not just for its uh, invisible qualities, but it, it's really rough. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the first four or five inches, well this thing was, I can't believe it didn't break to be honest with you because it was a relatively large favorite plain fish. But, um, and is that gamma fluorocarbon by chance? It is gamma fluorocarbon. It's still real strong though. I mean, I can't believe, I can't believe how strong it is. It's a crop. Oh, Look at the size of that thing. That's an awesome crappie. That is beautiful. That is awesome. Wow. The size of his mouth. Awesome fish. Oh my. That is an awesome crappie. Awesome crappie. Are you kidding me? We got a little bit of everything here today. On Backwoods Angler TV. My goodness. We got smallies. We got largies. We got pickerel. We got trout. We got crappie. Perch. Perch. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is awesome. This is Mangle's awesome fishing show. Backwoods Angler TV is brought to you by the Delaware River Smallmouth Bass Fishing Handbook. Tips and techniques, tactics and information on seasonal patterns for any river situation. These are the techniques Blaine uses 200 days a year guiding on the Delaware River. Pick up your copy today at shop.backwoodsanglertv.com. Want to catch more bass? Try a Rage Rig. The weighted stroker from Motor Hooks is designed just for it and provides better performance. Get a Rage Rig today at motorhooks.com. Mark Helenchik Home Improvements now installs sun tunnels. Do you have a dark room or hallway? A sun tunnel skylight can brighten your home. And you'll save on your electric bill by not using lights during the day. We can transform your room in just a couple of hours. Call now and receive a three-day, two-night hotel accommodation at one of 24 popular resort destinations. Be sure to visit our website or call Mark Holenchik Home Improvements today. Hands are meant for work, hard work, and boy, do we put them through the ringer. When your two most valuable tools are damaged, the ability to lead an active, healthy lifestyle can become a challenge. That's where O'Keefe's Working Hands comes in. It's guaranteed relief for dry hands that crack and split. O'Keefe's unique formula is specifically designed to draw moisture into the skin and hold it there, stimulating the skin's natural repair process, leaving it healthy and hydrated. You'll love the non-greasy and absolutely odorless formula. O'Keefe's is a concentrated formula. A little goes a long way. Apply throughout the day after hand washing, showers, or as needed. At O'Keefe's Company, we have thousands of testimonials from hardworking people talking about how their hands have gone from this to this. Or this to this. O'Keefe's Working Hands. Guaranteed relief for dry hands that crack and split. Mountain Man Outdoor Supply, a leading wholesale distributor of hunting and fishing supplies. Highest quality yet affordable gear for the outdoorsman. Family operated, located in central PA. Visit mountainmanoutdoorsupply.com. As anglers, we really need to understand the importance of both eye protection and eyewear. SolarBat is determined to offer performance polarized sunglasses for all sports enthusiasts at a great value so that all customers can afford performance polarized eyewear. For an added value, BWA TV fans will receive 10% off the original price when they enter the promo code BWATV at checkout at solarbat.com. Welcome back to Backwoods Angler TV. Our target today, smallmouth bass on Lake Winona. We're fishing New Hampshire today and our day started at the Boulders Motel on Squam Lakes. It was the perfect place to stay because they cater to fishermen. The Boulders has cabins and individual rooms, a boat dock, 
power to charge your electronics, and your minutes from a number of excellent yeah. freshwater fisheries in New Hampshire. Yeah, heck, We've caught bass on several different lures, from topwater to jigs, but our best results came from the case sinking salty shad. That's a better one. Off the rock. Nice fish, Molly. Little smally on the rocks. Where were they supposed to be? The case salty shed. Solid fish. Oh, on. on the rocks, where supposed to be? I gave that one a split second. I don't like to do that typically because you know that it, you get them in the you either get them in the tongue or in the gills if I do that, but it's so perfect for it right now. Typically when I'm throwing a soft jerk bait in the springtime, if bass move shallow, they're gonna be spooky in the sunshine when the water gets up into the 50s. They're gonna be spooky. So a day like today when you have a, an overcast and next to no wind at all, a little drizzle and showers falling and this is a perfect, perfect salty shad kind of a day. And the biggest mistake I find people make with this salty shad is they don't let it sink enough. They overwork it. Now, if the fish want it that way, there's nothing better than to get it just subsurface or on the surface. But this bait, the way Case makes it, it sinks like a rock and it'll, it'll quiver as it sinks. That tail kind of just shimmies as it sinks and it creates the, what, what the, uh, we call it a death rattle, a bait fish before it's ready to die. If it's been hit or injured, it'll rattle, it'll kind of quiver and shake as it goes down. And that salty shed perfectly imitates that when that tail kind of just shimmies back and forth. Let the salty shed sink a little bit, dead stick it just a little bit. You don't have to dead stick it too long when it's shallow, but dead stick it. Makes a big difference. Right in the corner of the mouth, too. <laughs> she doused you in the head, man. There's nothing, nothing cold about him, is there, right now? <laughs> Look at that. Man. Now explain, explain to the viewers what you were doing there as far as letting that thing fall. You would just dead stick that dead stick bait because we got it. deeper here. This yep. flat's deeper. We're in a lot deeper water and Blaine said just let it sit, let it sit and I let it just painfully slow letting the thing just fall and all of a sudden I saw the sweep up, the flash at it and that's all it took. And that's a big girl right there. That's a big pretty girl. Mm. Man, that's awesome. Blaine? Thanks for a great day, man. Holy cow. New England, baby, New England. <laughs> In the pouring rain, we had this place to ourselves. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Took some time to figure them out, but it did. The usual topic of a Backwoods Angler TV show is what? Persistence. Yeah. Live free or die, baby. <laughs> wow. What a great afternoon. Thank you to Case Plastics, too, by the way, for this one. Yeah. I'm soaked. Oh, it's awesome, man. BackwoodsAnglerTV.com for more information on Blaine Mangle. From my partner in crime, Chris Gorsuch, good fishing, man. This soaked me. Absolutely soaked me. Awesome. One more time. Man, they are on fire. Backwoods Angler TV, brought to you by these fine sponsors.